Nick. What's your emergency? Ma'am? What's your emergency? What's my emergency? Yeah. No, what police department, man? The reason I stopped you blew through the stop sign at Ulrich and Zion. Or, I'm sorry, Quinn and Zion. You need to see your driver's license proof of insurance. No. No. No? You need to tell me what your emergency is and what your probable cause is. My probable cause is you drove through the, the stop sign. Well, that's not probable cause of a crime. So you need to it's come a, up uh, with probable cause of a crime. It's probable cause for a stop, ma'am. Well, a stop, you, a you stop have to have probable cause of a crime you to stop, stop me. Sign. You have to have probable cause of a crime to stop me. So come up with it. I and did. tell me Which why you anyway. have your overhead lights engaged when there's no emergency. What's your emergency? The overhead lights are engaged to stop you on traffic. Uh, yeah, well, that's not an emergency. So that's unlawful what you're doing in the first place, uh, engaging your overhead lights. Now you're creating a traffic hazard by uh, pulling me over in the middle of the damn road. Okay, and you don't have probable cause. Lights. No, you need to call for a supervisor. I am the supervisor. Well, then we've got a problem. We need to go see the magistrate. We will go see the magistrate. Okay, let's go. You have to come with me, though. No. You can't arrest you have me. You provide me with your identification no. if you want to go see me. If you me. accuse me of a crime, are you accusing me? No, 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 no. But what, are you arresting me? You're, you're telling me you have to arrest me for me to go see the magistrate? Yes. Okay, well, that you can't arrest me to go see the magistrate. Okay, Mr. We can go right Mr. now. Okay, you can provide me with your, your driver's license and proof of insurance, and we can move on from there, and I can release you and let you go. You can or release you me can and let me, me go uh -huh. unless you have probable cause for a crime. Let me finish, okay? You can let me go unless you have probable cause for a crime. I do. You ran a stop sign. That's your not a crime. Also That's not a crime either. That's a Class C misdemeanor. It's state. not a crime. No. A crime. Yes, ma'am. No. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm going to give you my passport. And that's all you need. You need to you need to call a supervisor higher than you cuz you're getting in trouble right now. Okay. You can't you can't pull me over for no probable cause. Create a half traffic hazard. Turn on your overhead lights and then tell me you're going to arrest me to go see the magistrate. Bullshit. I'm not playing that today. No. Yeah, we back. No, we can talk. Okay, that's fine. You already tried to break in my vehicle. I'm not rolling down the window. Okay, that's fine. Wrote you two citations, one for on the stop sign, the other one for the expired driver's license. The court case is 29th of June, near in Tomo. He has signature to find the exit. No. It's not an admission to guilt, just no. contact the court. I'm not gonna go. We can go we can go see the magistrate. and there's your passport back. Thank you. Be careful. You dropped your trash in my truck. That's your trash. Drop this trash in my damn truck. Okay. But, you see, I didn't comply with shit, didn't sign a ticket, and this little is driving away. Sorry, I shouldn't be cussing, but I'm pissed. Sick of these criminals. These criminal thugs. See what they do? See what they do? Trash. Give a shit. So, here I go away again. Speed limit's 30. 
They're right behind me. I don't give a damn. He can kiss my... I need to stop. I'm just... I'm tired of living with criminals. I'm tired of living with criminals. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of their corruption, their intimidation, and their bullshit. I'm tired of living with criminals. I'm, I'm, I, I can't. I'm so angry. I just, I can't. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be cussing. God forgive me. God, take me back into your holy space again, because God knows these fools keep trying to pull me out, and I ain't having it. I ain't having it. My God's bigger than theirs. But, here we go. We have another traffic stop where I didn't give them anything but my passport, didn't sign a ticket, and I drove away once again. But, God, they make me mad. I need to stop getting mad. I'm praying over that. I hope y'all pray with me. I hope y'all pray with me help people, me and people like me, not to get triggered and to stay calm. We're just so tired of living with the criminality. We're just so tired of it. Just can't stand it no more. Okay, let's take a look here at what Officer Yoho issued me. See the date? And the time right here. Okay. City of Tomball. We're going to go over here. Got a court date. My name. Okay. And then we're going to come down here. Said we were at Zion and Quinn Road. No accident, the weather was clear, and he wrote, ran a stop sign, and it expired driver's license. And then we're going to come down here. This is the trash he threw in my car. And you see it right there? His handwriting's terrible, but he wrote refused, and then threw this piece of trash in my truck and here's the thing that people need to pay attention to down here on your ticket let's see if I can get a good shot this is when you sign you're making a contract with them you have no obligation to contract with them they have an option to take you to the magistrate at that time and I gave them the option. You can either sign the ticket saying you promise to appear. Or you can go see the magistrate right then. I gave them the option. Let's go see the magistrate right now. And they didn't want to do it. So I didn't sign the ticket. Thereby, I did not promise to appear at the court. Okay? Now... That's not going to stop them from doing whatever they do. Because that's the way they are. They're going to do whatever they want to do. So they may send you threatening letters. They may issue a bench warrant even, a capious warrant, which is not really a warrant. But they may do it. So... You have to read your paperwork. When they sent me a notice, they gave me a ticket like this before and I didn't pay it. When they sent me the notice, I simply ignored it. When I read the notice, it said, when you sign the ticket, well, I knew I never signed any ticket, so right off, that doesn't apply to me. But this is why you need to pay attention. Now, I'm going to say something else, too. Do not, I'm going to say it again, do not do what I just did unless you are prepared to have your property damaged, 
to be assaulted, to go to jail, because they will do it. They will, they sometimes will do those things. I'm dealing with a department who knows me. They know I will sue. They know I can sue and I will. And I've, you know, I've also done some other paperwork to get them to back off, which we'll talk about at some other time. But if, if you want to assert yourself like this, you have to really know the law and know why you can say this. And that's what we're here to teach you. Why you can say this stuff, how you can say it, because they will test you every step of the way. And if you show one ounce of fear, they're going to jump in and they're going to get you. So... Even if you are scared, you have to know what you're talking about and be confident enough in it to keep arguing with them like I did. So, I'm not telling you to do what I do. I'm showing you what I do, and I'm telling you why I think it works and why it works for me. That does not mean it will work for you. It does not mean it will work with whatever officer has stopped and detained you. But if you learn the law and you go on the offense and don't let them intimidate you and you know what you're talking about, then you can do this and not get tangled up with them. That whole encounter took what five minutes of dealing with him now I edited out I did not film when I was just sitting in my truck waiting all I filmed was the whole entire encounter with him so the whole entire encounter other than me sitting waiting and by myself in my truck there is nothing else to the encounter that was the entire encounter and I filmed it because this police department, like many others, constantly refuses to give the tapes. Constantly. So, um, I just wanted to share this with you and we'll talk more about how and why this works and what you need to know if they do uh, continue to violate your rights or if you do go in front of the magistrate. We'll talk on another video about what you do when you get in front of the magistrate, but it's basically the same thing. You're going to go in front of the magistrate and say, this fool engaged his emergency overhead lights when there was no emergency. He pulled me over in the middle of the road, thereby creating a possible traffic hazard. And he did all of this with no probable cause. So I'm here to find out what's the probable cause and why have I been dragged down here. And you're going to have to get your answer. I'm betting most of the time, if you, know, if you really, really know what you're doing and why, it's not, they're not going to do it. You'll, you'll call their bluff, and they won't do it. So that's kind of up to you. It's everybody's choice what they want to do. I just want to show you what I do and tell you the law of why it works. And remember, you know, this is the same officer that a few years ago when I didn't know intimidated me ferociously. I thought he was going to bust in my window. He had his hand on his gun. He was screaming like a maniac when there was absolutely no reason. I wasn't even being mean or rude back then like I am now. I was being very compliant. And what that got me was multiple arrests, assaulted, money stolen. Uh, yeah, and, and they still refuse to give up the tapes. But that's okay because it ain't over till I say it's over. So 
they better watch their P's and Q's because I can and I will sue. And I'm documenting everything. So this is how I do it. It's uh, an option for those of you who know the law and are willing to, to, to take the risk involved to stand up for your rights. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got on that one for the moment, and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.